some spicy meat. <laughs> Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which I have the pleasure of watching Mazzy Demir playing his Scorpion G and all I gotta say is that this replay is going to be amazing. I saw the post battle stats and they amazed me but I did not watch the replay because I wanted to get surprised. So here we are going to discover the replay all together. First thing first, what's the Scorpion G all about? 460 alpha damage, an amazing DPM plus an amazing accuracy which makes it probably one of the greatest sniper at tier 8 and I also decided to do this video about that tank simply because as you all know uh, I did a video called VK9001P event and you are supposed to be able to get some part for a certificate to get the Scorpion G in your garage but what are the main characteristics of the Scorpion G beside its gun I would say the mobility and the fully traversable turret and also the fact that your armor is literally non-existent which implies that everything will penetrate you tier 7 tier 6, even tier 5, tier 4, tier 3, so really be careful with this time because it's the kind of one where you are going to get punished for every single mistake you make. But for our uh, for the moment, our friend is not doing any more mistakes or any mistakes at all because he just wrecked that KV3 securing the first kill of the game. Now that being said, if you take a look at the map, you see that all his teammates decided to go on the base and the SU-152 is fighting alone against 2 or 3 tier 8 on one side, which is really an horrible thing for an SU-152 because you're a tank destroyer and you're supposed to have some some support let's say but not a problem for our friend right there he goes in sneaks some shots on the kv4 and the kv4 killing the su he knows he has time to reload and destroy the guy he wanted to go for an he and i'm glad he didn't because i feel like the kv4 armor is enough to be able to bounce a 134 hp he shell and it allowed our friend to get the kill, secure it really with the right shell. Now, that being said, as you can see, he's not trying to push through. Why? When you're playing with the Scorpion G, the main playstyle, if you are an average or uh, or bad player, I would say is camping. This is the most obvious and most useful one, simply because here, that's the thing that will make you not make any mistakes. But when you want to play aggressively with the Scorpion G, you can, but you need to make sure that the rest of your teammates are following you. You don't want to go alone on one side, otherwise you're going to get completely clapped. So our friend is calmly waiting for things to get spot, which is kind of logic. You are not here to spot for yourself. And boom, it seems like the AT-15 is trying to drop down the hill with a little bit of lag right there. I hope it's not going to stay for too long because otherwise it's going to be a little bit harder for us to catch up with the rest of the replay. He's not getting spotted. There is the AT-15. The AT-15 doesn't want to move or at least it seems like the guy doesn't want to move. He's trying to get a shot on the AT but I feel like it's going to be impossible. He has some teammates capping and are they going to make it to the top? I don't think so because they are getting pushed which is Perfect for our friend that can literally snap some good shots on the opponents. The T28 prototype did the right thing here. Instead of going for something like the B44 Pantera, he decided to go for a shot straight on the Scorpion. It's the right thing to do because the Scorpion in this situation is quite deadly and he was still fully in full capacity because of his points. Now, P44 Pantera, T28 Prototype, and I6, boom, that's it, the 460 alpha damage gun that is doing its job. We are coming back into a 3 versus 4 situation, there is the IS6 here as well, and unfortunately, yeah, the side armor of the IS6 is something else that doesn't allow him to penetrate. But not a problem, not a problem, guys, because he's still going to be able to get some shots. There we go for the shot on the IS6, and oh boy, once again, instead of going for the hole, he went straight for the gun mantle, which is impossible to penetrate but not a problem what do we have in front we have a panther a vk an i6 and an at-15 all we know is that the at-15 is a one shot he went for a shot on the at-15 but it bugged again so we didn't see him aim closely to the at but not a problem the guy died securing four kills and now it starts to be to be really interesting because we have some lags the guy is anticipating it and on top of that we have the t-34 that didn't do anything he's gonna reload before the i6 if i was him i would have secured the kill with he but that's his choice and now he has to deal with the vk and the panther he's a one shot for the vk especially if he uses he shells but it seems like it's not the case and the vk kind of don't care about it 
so not a problem. Our friend is going around, around using his mobility. The VK is reloading, so he knows he can sneak in another one before going to a safe position. And now the VK is probably going to shoot at the T-34. And no, he didn't. Is he shooting the T-34? No, he's not. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That was a big mistake. If that big fella here went for an HE shell, our friend would have been dead. Okay, first mistake of the game. In my opinion, the first and big mistake, trying to get off the VK-90. VK100. But I understand why he did that. He's at 6th kill at the moment and he wants to secure the Res9 medal, which is something I can understand. He knows it's already an ace tanker at that point, 6k damage and 6 kills, but still, 6k damage and 7 kills is way better. And the VK is telling him, wow, the Panther is AFK. God bless, he's gonna be able to get the guy. Jap, why is he saying Jap? Jap 2, Cap 2, he wanted to say maybe. Yeah, I feel like that's what he wanted to say. He's switching to HE because, as you can see, he's lacking of any other type of shells. There we go for the first shot, putting the guy on fire. He will be able to kill him before the T-34 makes it. And boom, that's pretty much how you secure 7k damage and 7 kills using a glass cannon. As you can see, sometimes camping is worth it and camping will allow you to win some games. Even if I don't want you to camp too much, guys, because that's a pretty much dog shit playstyle. Just be aggressive, please. So yeah, that was an amazing game, even if it was composed mostly of camping. But when the enemies are doing dumb things enough for you to stay in your position and do 7k damage, I feel like the ace tanker is well deserved. So that's it, guys. An ace tanker, seven, nearly 7.4k damage. I don't know if it's in the Hall of Fame, but I feel like it, I feel like it is. How many battles do our friend has? Yeah, it's a reward. So he played against guys that didn't have a clue what they were doing, and that's pretty much how you do ace tanker with Hall of Fame. It's not gonna be included into the Hall of Fame simply because you need to have at least 5k battles to be able to do a game that doesn't, uh, that doesn't. Uh, take into consideration the fact that you were playing with bad players or new players, but it's still, regardless, an amazing game. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, like, and share, and I'm going to see you soon for a new video. Bye.